Rescue mission, day two. Hey guys and gals, good morning, and welcome back to day two of Pikmin. Last time we started out the game, we actually didn't crash land this time. <laughs> We're simply saving those who have. All right, I guess this is everyone. I call this strategy meeting to order. Copy that. Here's the latest status report. As of today, two rescue officers and one rescue pup have been recovered, thanks to the efforts of Jeff, who we learned the name of last night. However, the whereabouts of the other four rescue officers remain unknown, and the SS cafeteria is out of commission due to an unfortunate grease fire. Olé. All things considered, our primary mission, the rescue of Captain Olimar, has run into some roadblocks. Um. Our first priority is now the search and rescue of our fellow rescue officers. No. Jeff, Ochi, fly to the area where our radar picked up those distress signals and try to track down our missing personnel. Colin and I will remain with the ship. Trust me, because I trust him, and nothing bad will happen to me. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll be available via the SS Cafeteria's wireless communication at all times. So you'll have our full support. Is she sweating? Or is that just a weird particle? It looks like she's sweating. <laughs> I wouldn't typically assign so much responsibility to a rookie, but after seeing you in action, I know you can handle it. Plus, you'll be in good pause with Ochi by your side. You two make a great team. Come on. And by that, I mean he does all the work, and you just watch. Captain, what about our search for Captain Olimar? Should we officially put it on pause? Pause. No, we may still find him during our hunt for the other rescue officers. I'll keep it on our mission list, just in case. Oh. On that note, I hereby call this strategy meeting to a close. Copy that. It's not going to give me an opportunity to biff the catchphrase. Captain Olimar is... Sh oh, wait, sorry. This is written. This is not... This is not spoken. Captain Olimar is shipwrecked on this unknown planet. Discover his whereabouts while you search for missing rescue corps officers. Uh, collect 1,500 units of Sparklium and finish the day to complete the demo. Afterward, you can receive rewards both in the smart app, Pikmin Bloom, and the full version of the game. Rewards. Now, I wonder if I can continue my log. Actually, you know what? Let's pause real quick and interact with the menus, just because uh, this might be our last opportunity to do so. And I, I'd like to kind of see, I would like to get a taste of this. Okay, so we can, we have a map. There's something over there. I think that's, oh, that's the cave entrance. That's where we landed, I think. So if I press ZL, oh, that's a neat feature. Okay, so we can, honestly, that's great. I, I kind of wish every single video game ever did that. Cool, okay. Uh, but what else is there? I can press B. Status report. I haven't lost anyone. And it gives us, obviously, our, our stats. Uh, gameplay guide is the minus button. Gives us settings. Co-op mode. Uh, we've already gone through here, so I don't really care about that. And nor do I really want to show that. But I can go back. Oh, no. I don't want to do that. Uh, B. Missions, which we have three missions. That's, that's kind of intriguing to me. I wonder... So, I actually posted on Twitter my predictions for how this game was going to go. Or rather, what I believe would make the perfect Pikmin game. And so far, this is actually kind of... Kind of going that way. I I, I will link it in um, in the comments or the, the description of this video. Probably a comment. But I like the idea of us having to tackle separate objectives with different amounts of Pikmin each time. It's almost like um, multiple Pikmin 1s where we're kind of alone. We have different resources, different Pikmin, different squads, different challenges that we're going to face. And some of them might not be challenges. Uh, 
might not be challenges that we can tackle, but we'll have to come back to face them after we've after we've met up with other other members of the crew. And that's that's kind of neat. I, I like that idea. I've I said last or sorry, I said yesterday, I need to get back into that habit. Um, I said yesterday that this is shaping up to be oops to be the best Pikmin game, and I really do mean that. Like this there's so much potential here with the benefit of hindsight from Pikmin 3, this being Miyamoto's kind of like his his passion project, and then also Okay. I wonder if this got up the radar. That's that's neat. There's just there's so much. There's so much. And the little critiques I have, like the dog, please take those with a grain of salt. I'm not That's kind of slow, but Oh, it says I can select 10. Okay, there was... Let's look at that again. Again, this might be our... Ah, okay. That's neat. It doesn't accelerate like in uh, in Pikmin... In Pikmin... Well, all of them. Uh, auto. Yeah, okay. So there's gonna be some times where the game's like, Hey, you should take these with you. Well, let's... Oh, I forgot. Oh, she's a thing. But yeah, don't take my criticisms of the dog or of anything with really any more credence than... Hey, this is these are the the musings of a very long time Pikmin fan. What is Oh, it's motion it is actually still motion controlled. Okay. I didn't pick that pick up on that on day one. Uh sure, I'll chat with you, Colin. I'm gonna keep my distance, but I'll chat with you. Well hey! You'll be pleased to learn that I installed a few new apps on your tablet. I'm sure you'll find them more than useful when you're out in the field, so check them out when you have a spare minute. Tumpley. Now that we have that sorted out, are you ready to get out there and explore? Uh, not yet, not yet. I don't know what that That's advances true. when- and I'm going to take ad full advantage of the fact that I have a I don't have a timer here. What? What changed? That was weird. Oh, what is happening here? We are not at 100 Pikmin, and I, I've heard about this from friends. Kaukji. Huh? The onion stopped spitting out seeds based on life signs from inside the onion. There are clearly more Pikmin in there. Maybe Pikmin have evolved to self-limit how many can be out on the surface at a time to prevent unnecessary loss. At 20? Okay. That is something I've heard. Um, I'm not going to act... I'm not gonna put up a front on that. Um, I I have been told that we need to collect. They said garlic, in order to expand the onions' capabilities, which is fine. That's uh, uh it's not a progression that any other Pikmin game has done. Um, but I'm not against it. I also wonder if there's gonna be a a higher cap than a hundred in this game. That would be insane. What if like the final boss fight has. You, uh, allows you to take out like 10 or 10,000 Pikmin if you have them. That would be dope. It's like, hey, this is like a We we fight a dog. It's just like a chihuahua and we have to take out 5,000 Pikmin to <laughs> to murk this poor chihuahua. I really showed pity for a chihuahua. That's odd for me. We're all set over here. The SS big You know what? That's what I'm calling it. The SS bagel can take you off whatever whenever you're ready. I'm ready. Can you go? Which area would you like to explore? Uh. Okay, that's us. Sun Speckled Terrace. Maybe it's not us. It looks like. Oh, sorry. It looks like there might be a missing Rescue Corps officer here. We need to get out there and find them. Will we be able to do it? Find out! Today, on Pikmin 4! It's kind of insane how much... How similar I was able to make my character look to Jeff from Mother 3. Why did I say Mother 3? Mother 2. I'm insane. Oh, the onion's going too? It'd be really funny if the SS Cafeteria went with them, and then they're just like... <laughs> stranded there. Flarlick to increase their limit. Oh, uh, it's just telling us that. That's neat. 
Oh, this is from the trailer. Dwarf Bulborbs, looking cute, looking cute as always. There is something to be said for this game, and I think the effect it it has on people who grew up with it. Hey. More on that in a moment. Come in, come in. This is Colin. Looks like you made it out there in one piece. Hang on, I'll have the captain explain how today's rescue operation will work. See the clock at the top left corner of your screen? It's set up so the hand will reach the rightmost edge at the area's local sunset time. Search for our missing rescue officers during the day, but hustle back to the rescue command post before dark. I love the little look Ochi's giving. Giving the communicator. That's really... That's actually endearing. I am on the job! Yes! Me! Jeffrey Jeffston III. I am the dramatic voice in all of the menus. This is how I speak. Try to remember that you're supposed to respond with copy that. I'm never doing that. Anyway, let's get out there and make us proud. And by oh, let's, oh. I mean you, because we're going to stay here for some inexplicable reason. Oh, you probably noticed that the onion accompanied the SS bagel. According to the voyage log, the onion also serves as a tr form of transportation for the Pikmin. Oh. We've got a lot to do and can take all the help we can get. I think you could put those Pikmin to good use. There are very few things in life that your dog is not able to do, and the Pikmin are going to be able to facilitate your assistance. I'm trying to s- oh, it's why. Anyway. Oh yeah, we're timed now. Okay, so I, I need to actually, you know, use my brains a little bit. Uh, zoom out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, the Pikmin don't make noises anymore. That's sad. Doesn't matter. The effect the Pikmin has on people who grew up with it, I think it is one of appreciation. It's, it's one where they look at a brick wall and in their mind, at, at, at some corner, some microscopic, almost macroscopic corner of it, the Awakening Wood theme plays, or the Garden of Hope, or the Final Trial, as they're harkened back to those moments of a video game that isn't grandiose. You're not saving the world. You're not... You're not stopping a god. Your character isn't a god sealed in a mortal's body. You're not the destined one. It's just a game of some people that are very tiny, interacting in a world that we take for granted. And I think that have, growing up on this game, maybe perhaps playing it a lot, but from my perspective, growing up on it, those things that you take for granted, how how clovers look up close, how buttercups illuminate anything they're around. It's something that Pikmin slowly strips away and you're left with appreciation. Come in, Jeff. I forgot an important detail. That is when you're sub going to need Ochi's help when it comes to searching for the rescue officers. Aww. He has a sharp sense of smell, so he'll be able to locate the rescue officers by tracking their scents. That is where Colin's seasoning comes in. We put it all in our suits just in case. Use Y to open actions, and then use the left stick to select a search command. All right. To begin with, command Ochi to pick up a scent. You never know where his nose may lead you. Rescue operations are a race against time, so put your dandori skills to use to find our rescue officers quickly. You look a little confused. Have you never heard the term dandori before, Jeff? Are you not a redditor? How to explain? 
Dandori is the art of organizing your tasks and strategically and working with maximum efficiency to execute your plans quickly. Its practice has fallen by the wayside in recent years, but it's still a core tenet of the Rescue Corps, so take it to heart. Amen. Embracing the art of Dandori is essential to our work, and you'll need it out there while surf it searching for our rescue officers. To get things started, open Y actions and open and command Ochi to sniff things everywhere. All right, uh, why? This is a very old mechanic for Nintendo. Actually, wow, it is very old. Huh. My subconscious brain came up with that sentence, and then my conscious brain was like, wait, 2006 isn't that long ago. Twilight Princess just came out. No, honey, Twilight Princess is like five Zelda games. It's five 3D Zelda games ago. I'm sorry to break it to you. Give Ochi a tat. I don't know why I gave it in that voice. Ah, this is how you disband as well. That's good to know. And then confirm. Pick up a scent. Castaways. Let's do pick up a scent. Anything? Follow the scent, Ochi. Aha! Can I do that in a moment? I can't get up there. I need to remember the center behind you button. It's weird that I'm defaulting to camera controls, but I guess that's just what happens when you're used to games that do that, but like Pikmin has never had these controls before. Whoa, the Pikmin Are picked it? up a, a D12. <laughs> That's a pretty rock, isn't it? It doesn't, s oh wait, sorry. It doesn't seem like treasure, but it might be useful. I'll check Captain Olimar's voyage log. What? One could mistake this raw material for a simple stone. Oh wait, this is Olimar. But it has more in common with amber and other fossilized biological matter. When heated, it me it melts, excuse me, into a brown clay and becomes malleable. I should be able to find many applications for it. Is this plastic? I'm a fair hand with machines, but I don't know much about material science. I only know about edible science. Also, that Pikmin's eye is floating away from its head. It's really weird that after... 20 years of Pikmin that hasn't been fixed, but maybe it's a, a feature, not a glitch. Hello? Collect it for now. He'll be excited to have some something to work with after we find him. Can you do that on your own? I'm gonna set one on that and then grab the rest of my Pikmin. Give me a second, Ochi. I'll be right with you. Whoa, you're off way ahead. You have a health bar, sir. You have a health bar, be very careful. Oh, I see, I see, I see, okay. When I'm holding A, it allows me to use the motion controls. When I'm not holding A, it doesn't. That's neat. Is there a button to, to like, is there a, whoa, 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 whoa. Please leave Ochi alone. I don't want you to kill him yet. Oh, there we go. A, oh, you know, old A, no. Is there a swarm button? It's not X. You know what, I think it is X, but X doesn't do anything yet. I think that's the problem. Oh gee, real quick, no. I love how he froze there, that was actually really funny. Can you do that? Aw, you can. He's not growing on me, shut up. Uh, you guys. Good job. Huzzah, now we can get past that wall. We, not you. I am with you in spirit and also in physical form. And that is because I am a ghost, which is not physical at all. I am the spirit of Wendigo. Which actually makes a lot of sense considering how I've been playing him. Well, I, I'm getting the Pikmin to bring back the plastic pellets first, just because there there's gonna be nectar, and it would be nice to get them in on that. Okay, guys, come with me, and we'll go back. I do need to keep an eye out on my timer now. That is relevant. Uh, Ochi, there. Uh, pick up set. 
Come on, buddy. Come on. There you go. Good job. Weirdo. Okay, uh, eggs. There are eggs up ahead. We can go ahead and grab these. I'm really curious how the, this is going to work. Um, every single Pikmin game has worked very differently when it's come to nectar. And I don't think it's ever done been done well, but, ugh. I actually legitimately don't think any game has done this well. Did you see that? It bloomed a flower. What is going on here? Pretty. Hmm. That substance is called nectar. When Pikmin consume it, it stimulates their growth, apparently. The voyage log says that the more they grow, the faster they move. Oh, they really are mysterious creatures. I wonder if there's an end goal for Pikmin evolution. That's, wow, that's awesome. I was gonna say, um, it's never been done. Oh, you aren't gonna fly. Get on that. In, in Pikmin 1 um, and Pikmin 2, a single Pikmin could consume it, an entire pool of nectar. Now, I'm explaining this because some of you guys are probably new and aren't really aware of, like, older Pikmin games or just learning them for yourselves. Look, there's a cave here, too. This area is crawling with creatures. Our rescue officers could have retreated into the cave to get away from them. Well, we should probably take a look inside. So, in, in Pikmin 1, a single Pikmin consumed an entire thing of nectar. No. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. That's the exit to the cave, it looks like. I just want to do a little bit... I don't. I really don't want to send my Pikmin that, back that far. So we'll... We will come... We will come back to this. Yeah, we'll come back to this. Um, a single Pikmin would consume an entire thing of nectar, but you could only get a... You couldn't get that many uh, flowers off of off of that pool. In Pikmin 2, you could get any oh, you know? number of, of flowers off of a pool, but a single Pikmin still consumed the entire thing of nectar. So if you threw a leaf Pikmin onto an egg and it drank the nectar therein, that was it. You weren't getting any nectar from it, essentially. And Pikmin 3 kind of fixed this by allowing um, having nectar be multi-use, but it's still, one Pikmin disproportionately consumed the amount of nectar compared to the amount you'd get if you swarmed it, which I guess made sense for, like, Pikmin's personality, and they would they would drink their fill. But it was a little bit frustrating, and this game seems to have done it very well, as I got 20 off of two, and there was there probably could have been some left over. I wonder if there might be a voyage log entry related to these coordinates. Yup, here it is. Oh my word. It's a frozen milk carton! Refrigerated milk, finally! I'll explain that when we fight them. Uh, I entered a cave to look for the SS, for SS dolphin parts and found a creature that defies the logic of space. It further surprised me that by expelling frigid cold air. Imagine if there were Pikmin that could have been acclimated to that cold air. This planet's ecosystem is full of mysteries. I have never seen ice before nor frozen anything in my life. Take a look at this. That Captain Olimar simply, uh, certainly is thorough, isn't he? According to the log, any time you enter a cave, you should be able to take Pikmin with you. The SS Bagel can bring the Pikmin, so you can enter the cave without stopping by the base first. The Pikmin that remain on the surface can't be le can't just can't be left out there, so let's return them to the Onion for the time being. It's a cave. I love caves. Caves are... Oh! That's awesome! Also, a, a new little riff on the you can't do this noise from previous titles. That's neat. I love that. That's really cool. Okay. Um, it, kind of cool. It does gate some game design a little bit, and inherently you're not able to... Uh, to gatekeep the player for what they want to bring into the cave, but I still like it. Makes it convenient. Marco. 
Good boy, Ochi. He's picked up a castaway's scent. It has to be one of our missing rescue officers. Let's get them back to safety. No music. Odd. Okay. Oh, I guess X charged. I didn't think about that earlier. More plastic. I don't remember what they called it, but it's basically plastic. Some female shear grubs. Now, they're not really a concern. They cannot kill. They, they have not evolved pincers big enough to kill. A compass seems very important. Oh, yeah, what does this do? What's this? That's not treasure. Huh? Treasure or not, it does appear to contain some sparklium. You might as well keep collecting these defeated creatures. They may be enough to help, if only a little. Uh, one thing I've seen theorized online... Oh, I didn't mean that. Oh, that's fine. Is that sparklium is actually some form of... Oh, X. No, 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 no. Come, come back, come back. Is that sparklium is some sort of, like, um... Form of solidified radiation, which would make a lot of sense considering Pikmin 1 has confirmed that there is radiation. If I go to the tablet, do I get to see stats on the treasure I just got? Uh, B, voyage log, status report. I don't see it. Huh. I, I, I simultaneously. What's minus two? Oh. Rewind time? That's dumb. Uh. <laughs> I simultaneously like that it didn't interrupt me when I, I tried to, um, oh my word, when I got the treasure, but don't like that it isn't telling me, but so there's probably a way. I haven't experienced this feeling in many years. Are those wild Pikmin? Look at this. It's a refrigerated milk carton! Kill him with your bodies! Ice Pikmin. At long last, one of the Pikmin types confirmed in Pikmin 1 is finally revealed here. Are these Pikmin 2? No, these are Pikmin 4. Actually, they're technically like Pikmin 9, because they're the ninth. Actually, hold up. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. I'm not going to count that one. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. They're eight. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh. Sorry, no, they're, they are nine. They are nine. Technically. There's uh, an exception in Pikmin 1 that you could count, but th this is the ninth Pikmin. Let's see, the voyage log says, Ice Pikmin. I always thought of Pikmin as plant-like creatures, so I never dreamed I'd come across an ice variant. Ice Pikmin can use their icy bodies to freeze water and creatures, but they can also float like ice in the water. Don't spray them with water, though. They really don't like it. Oh. Their bodies are made of ice? Who knew that something frozen could move around like that? It is incredible. Uh, I just noticed. Oh. What? <laughs> mm, that seems like a lot of Pikmin. Is your squad better, bigger than normal? Oh, I see. When you're underground, you can have a larger squad because the pit wild Pikmin you find will join you. All right, I get it. Makes sense. I don't know what that is. Uh, what was what was I gonna say? Did I have an onion actually? I should probably. Oh, whoa, whoa. hold up, hold up, hold up! Come on, guys, come on! The inability to swarm and then also to um use a C stick is gonna be kind of weird. Look at them! They're so cute. Also, the buttercups early were foreshadowing. Also, I forgot entirely what I was gonna talk about with regards to caves. Caves are a. F oh, in that case, I don't don't bring that don't bring that back. Uh, caves are a fantastic mechanic for 
a variety of reasons. But first and foremost is they were away in... Ah, good to know. Thank you. Nah, I guess I can't. Too late. Um, they were away in Pikmin, uh, in Pikmin 2 to drastically increase the difficulty without threatening Pink Pikmin extinction. That was very important. And so, their return means that they're free to increase the difficulty. No, you guys get out of harm's way. Nice. It kind of autopiloted that for me. I'm not a huge fan of that, but... It's fine. These are the musings of a Pikmin boomer. Okay, come on, gents. Uh, let's... Yeah, we'll go and grab them. Come on. And everyone's flowers. We now have yellow flowers. Really cute. I wonder... I often wonder if Nintendo... Is that Mario Paint? No. Is that the ice onion? What is that? Is that an underground onion? What is happening? Why does that look so weird? Does it look like it's sputtering? It looks pretty pale for an onion. What do you think? Should we take it with us? What is going on? Dig it up quick, guys. I... I, I It looks shriveled. It actually looks like garlic, which makes sense for what we thought about earlier. If I can make a guess, this onion obviously hasn't seen the light of day. Literally, it's not even a pun. And so we need to, like, rejuvenate it somehow in order to get the Ice Pikmin onion. Which makes sense. Maybe they, like, crash-landed down here. Huh? This onion is different somehow. Let's take it back to the surface so we can compare it with the other one. Weird. All right. Well, I guess we're not gonna find what out what the deal is with that until later. I am kind of miffed that there is no. Uh, a two's fine. Uh, yeah, that, that works. I am kind of miffed that there's no music, but I wonder if that's a um a demo thing. I'm not gonna hold out on that. Um, I if there's no music, those are. Strong thoughts that I will give later on, but it's too early to know. Uh, you guys. Five of you go on that. I assume this requires... I can't call them blues. Ice? What happens if I touch them with reds? I... Oh, they're freezing it! I think they're freezing it. Huh? No use beating their head against the, this problem any longer. They're freezing it. Just like that. Frozen solid. I bet you could break it if you hit it now. Give the order to the Pikmin or Ochi. Okay, I was going to say, the Pikmin probably won't be too useful with that. Because we don't have rocks. Ochi, on the other hand, although I'm curious, would... Oh, no, it looks like they're... Yeah, they're working on it. Ochi. Hit it. Yeah, you guys can deal with that one. Oh, it has, um... It has stuff inside, whatever that was called. I, I, I will find that out later, or the comments can remind me, but... For now, it lo they just look like plastic pellets, so I'm sticking with that. Okay, we have everybody. We're gonna rescue that captain in a moment. And I'm gonna panic as to what personality I'm gonna give him. We're gonna grab this nectar over there. There was some over there, that's fine. Ah, uh, I, I, I noticed that earlier. I just wanted to get confirmation. It prioritizes when I throw Leaf Pikmin, which is a neat way to, of doing it. That said, uh, bef before in Pikmin, uh, in Pikmin, well, just other Pikmin games, um, you would actually, while holding a Pikmin, you would select what kind you had with, with left and right on the D-pad, which, is actually doing something. I don't know what it is. I don't know what, what it was doing. But, um, and then you can press up and down to select leaf flower bud, but it's not doing that here. Who are you? We found a castaway. Hurry and check their vitals. Pulse, blood pressure, temperature. 
I'm sorry, they're dead. Bring him back anyway. He will be useful. Huh. Okay, that's not Louie. I was gonna say that kind of looks like Louie. You know what? Do it, dog. And then we can leave out that way. Uh, fine, help him. There you go. And now I'll open my map as the game has been telling me to do. Uh, it doesn't look like anything, so... I guess I'll do a little bit of rare fast forwarding here and just cut to when they get him back to the ship. You did it. Let's take a look and see who they were. Oh. Hey, this is... Russ? An inventor, material engineer, and lover of all things science. He can develop all kinds of useful gadgets with the right raw materials. He's from the, he is from the planet of Gaia. Oh, thank the stars. He is all right. This is Russ, the scientist in charge of repairs and upgrades for our spacesuits and the SS cafeteria. His technical knowledge will be beyond helpful during this rescue mission. We have found Russ. You found Russ, the Rescue Corps' talented scientist. Keep searching for the rest of the rescue officers. Thank goodness I don't have to give him a voice yet, because I have no idea what to work with with that design. There's really, like, nothing there. He's just bald. Baldness is his personality trait. He is the baldest man alive. Well, besides he's sound. Back to surface. We're good. And this mechanic returns from Pikmin 2. Uh, when we confirm here, any Pikmin that are out in the field will come with us. Great mechanic. Makes a return. Da. Oh, is it gonna get do the full music? Da da do do da. Da 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 do da 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 da. Investigation complete. And it is here. That I'm not ending the episode. Oh no, siri. I'm waiting. I am going to wait for. Oh, I'm gonna give it a couple minutes. I'll set a timer. Because in Pikmin 2, there was a secret here, and I would like to see if it has returned. One Punch Man web comic chapter later, and no Totaka song. In Pikmin 2, if you had waited, I think, three and a half minutes uh, on, I mean, this exact screen you would hear the infamous hidden song that Kazumi, uh, composer Kazumi Totaka would leave in almost every game he had ever worked on. And in fact, in Pikmin 2, it's in the game twice. But it's not in this game. I think Kazumi Totaka's song is a relic of the past. That's sad. And time does not pass in the cave, I think? I'm sure I synchronized your clock, Jeff, but something is off. Oh? I calculated the difference. It looks as if only one-sixth as much time passed on the surface as you spent underground. Time seems to move differently in underground spaces on this planet. Oh. I'm not sure how it works, but I'm suppo I suppose that means you can take as much time as you need to explore caves. Okay, I never thought they would explain- well, that was kind of cool. I never thought they would explain that in-game. Huh. Hey, the onion sucked it up, but didn't release Pikmin. The voyage log says the white bulb is called a flarlick. Oh, if we bring flarlick to the onion, it will increase the number of Pikmin it releases onto the surface at any one time by ten. The ball. Whoa, that will be a big help when you are exploring. Try taking out more Pikmin, you bumbling idiot. Uh, let's put them all back inside. And then... 
Why? Oh, I have them out. Never mind. And then take some out. Neat. I can now take out 30. And the day's still going. The, man, these first episodes are going to be really... Uh, maybe? Maybe I, I will have cut this up. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. What do you think you're doing? Dying? That's what I thought. And then, wait, 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 wait. Oh, look at you. Look at your little aggro. Oh, why did you turn around? That was weird. Uh, go ahead. You guys take this wherever you want to take it. I don't know where your onion is, but I suppose we'll find out. Woo, what is that? That's cool. It's a ball. <laughs> uh, hi. So, oh, I was gonna, I was gonna, I said this earlier. Um, eh, let's just rush this. I, I really don't want to lose any flowers. Um, as a kid, I always thought these things looked like milk cartons. This is the fiery blowhog, and it has a, a apparently now two cousins. And honestly, I stand by it. Of all the things I called things when I, uh, I was a kid, Fiery Blowhog makes a lot of sense. Can I not throw this up there? It appears I will need a different kind of Pikmin. What kind of Pikmin might I need? Also digging. Bomb rocks? Oh, it looks like that's happening now. That's good. Uh, nothing. Oh, wait. Get him! Eh, sure, we'll go up here. I know I can. That's what I've been doing. And go ahead and get these pots. Whoa. All right. What is up here? Anything? Oh, sure, grubs. Die. And that's probably... Oh, maybe it will. Oh, it will! Okay, uh, give me a second. That's one thing the dog cannot do. You guys, are you done? Snap. That's not good Pikmin management. Uh, you guys, here, here, here. There's no sense you doing nothing. So you might as well grab this stuff. And then we'll come back with a full crew. Thank goodness that only takes three. Oh, 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 I forgot. Wait, 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 wait. You guys. What am I doing? Dog. Get it, dog. I completely forgot that a dog solves everything. And apparently, if the comments are to be believed, which, I mean, why would I not believe you? Uh, you've never led me astray so far. The dog can be upgraded to, like, ridiculous levels being able to carry stuff that a hundred Pikmin can carry. That's kind of nuts. Uh, is there not a shortcut? There is not a shortcut. All right, walking back the long way. This demo is honestly a really great length. Uh, I mean, I'm a third of the way there and I assume it's going to ramp up a little bit. Obviously the day's not done, so I'll probably get halfway there by the time everything is said and done. But good length, good length for a demo. And it's probably gonna segue pretty pretty well into, um, that's water, yep. It's probably going to segue pretty well. Do I try this? Ah, this is so dumb. Oh, wait, 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 no, it gives me a stat. It takes 30 to freeze that. Thank you, game, for telling me that. Even though the party had no, or the, not the party, eh, the party has no way of figuring that out. Uh, let's do that. You do that. You guys get on that. Help. Help. I, I'm not sure if my log carries over here, but it, I, if it does, it'd be good. What are you doing? Uh, it would be really good to have the benefit of some numbers. Uh, you guys... Boom, 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 boom. Why on earth did... Red's go on that. 
Oh, wait. It's not... It hasn't changed color. Oh. It's only producing reds. That's... Oh, all right. Um, I was pretty sure that Colin said that it produced a different color of Pikmin. Also, I have Bud Pikmin now, and I almost wonder if that's because some Pikmin were shaken off earlier, and they got downgraded, but they didn't, um, they didn't turn into leaves, which would be a great feature. I've, I've long since thought that Bug, Bud Pikmin are kind of, um, they're not useless, but, like, there's no real, they're almost always a bad thing, if you think about it, because, like, try to think about why a Bud Pikmin would happen. It's because... Oh, um, it's because you didn't pick them before they became flowers, so that's like the only time you'd have them. Um, and in all scenarios, you're gonna want, obviously, a, a flower, and it's harder to get a bud Pikmin than a flower. Which is odd to me, it's always struck me as weird. Another circle of stones, we keep finding them in the most opportune locations, how interesting. Maybe Captain Olimar left, behi left them behind for us so we could track him down. Never mind that for now, I wonder if, the if we're in this creature's territory. Um. We should create a base here. Any Dandori master would tell you it's the most efficient way forward. Just murder all the natural wildlife and don't care about the repercussions. Why does it feel like I'm echoing something that might have ha even happened in this exact same place? Hello. Please die. Okay, I can leave them with that. Uh, I need the- f I need all the boys. I need every single boy and some of the girls to assist. Wait, whoa, 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 what? 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 Move base. Hello? That's cool. That's so cool. Also, those poor Pikmin are going to have to come back. Where are they? Oh, <laughs> sorry guys. All right, first red bulborb of the game, spotty bulborb. Let's take a look at it first. It kind of looks like a fruit now, or like a like one of those old. Oh man, those like old balls that like um like the the bouncy balls that we would have as kids, like the big like inflated ones. You want to keep a close eye on creatures, but if they move around a lot, you can easily they can easily escape your line line of sight. When that happens, there's a handy trick for keeping your sights and aim where you want them. Click in ZR and it will auto lock. I already figured that out. I do not need this, Colin. Thank you. I know the mechanics of the, this game. I am a Pikmin veteran. And unfortunately. Let's send the dog first because I don't care about the dog. And then we're gonna send them because it might- oh, Yeah, it'll freeze him! Freeze him! Bitter spray! Kind of. It froze? Don't just stand there. Now's your chance! Kill him! It's bitter spray! Huh! That's really neat. Um, Bitter Spray is a Pikmin 2 mechanic where you could freeze enemies, um, to st turning them into stone, and in exchange, uh, no, I'll leave that. In exchange, they wouldn't leave a body, they would get a slight defense buff, which made them actually, in some cases, harder to kill. So you, it wasn't, like, just strict cheese, oh boy. Oh, look at the time. An important part of any rescue mission is making sure you make it- make your way back to the base before dinner. Ooh. According to Captain Lamar's voyage log, Pikmin will be safe as long as they make it back to this area around here. This has always been a mechanic Aww. in the- in the game, or in the franchise. However, starting with Pikmin 3, they actually gave you a physical line, which went a long way towards allowing you to trust the game to not kill your Pikmin. Because as a kid, I had always heard about this, but, like, I never wanted to believe it because, yeah, I mean, you try that leap of, leap of faith, right? And when you're a kid, not wanting any Pikmin to die, that's a big leap of faith. 
We're gonna we're gonna delve very deep, perhaps too deeply. That seems like a bah. Ooh, ooh, can I get that? Can I get that in the last time? I have. Yeah. Ah, I can't. No. That's unfortunate. I would love to get that, but I don't have the right kind of Pikmin. What can I do with the time I have remaining? Uh, let's double check where. Okay, you're right there. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Metal plate is raised. Um, let's go ahead and ignore him for now. I I just want to see what objectives I can I can achieve. Go, dog, go. Like if I could get uh, if I could get some flarlick, that would be awesome. Oh, it's not gonna happen. That's sad. That's sad. Uh, zero Pikmin out, so we're good. We're fine. We're fine. Probably could have destroyed this. Let's see what we can get done. I'll whistle it too. And it gives us a little timer. That's neat. Got it. Perfect. Objectives done. Zero Pikmin free. And a cave entrance found in the last moments of the day. I can't think of a more productive... Well, I, I could. I could have probably managed my time a little bit better. Not tunnel visioned on some side... Side, um... Some distractions, but... I call that a very productive day. We entered our first real cave. We got a new kind of Pikmin. We got a ton of Sparklium, aka money. And we can throw stones, apparently, with a second player. That's a great second... Girlfriend mode. Girlfriend mode is back. Da, do, da, da, da. Exploration results, day two. We have Russ. No idea how, what his voice is going to be like. Sparkly discovered. Oh, we get names. I forgot we got names. We get names. The director of Destiny. Refreshing Goo. Lesser Mock Bottom. 11 creatures killed. I think zero Pikmin lost. Zero Pikmin lost. We're going to try and keep that streak up for a long time. Longer than my death streak in Breath of the Wild. Oh, no. And we're not going to take off because we can't. Welcome back, Russ. Glad to see you made it in here in one piece. Oh, boy. Hi. Ha! <laughs> I didn't expect that voice out of him. Kee-hee-hee! -hee. Of course, Captain. I had no doubt the emergency escape system I developed would function properly. <laughs> that may be, but it would have been helpful if you showed the rest of us how to actually use it. One would expect an emergency escape device to be more intuitive to use in the event of an emergency situation. Yamo? Anyhow, now that you're back, Russ, can you tell us how you ca if you came across any plastic rocks like this before we found you? Kee-hee! Oh, Colin, Colin, Colin! Not only did I see them, I already completed a very thorough research on this matter. I discovered that when heated, the rocks would become soft and malleable and can be shaped into any form you desire. Its base properties can even change when exposed to different stimuli. It's quite a versatile raw material indeed. Huh? To put it simply, the more of this material you collect, the more inventions I can whip up to aid in your search. I'm currently upgrading the 3D printer so we can put this miracle material to use as soon as you bring it to the SS Bagel. It will be crucial to my work at the lab and any other building needs that might arise. What a spectacular update, Russ. I knew bringing along a material scientist would be key to our success. Starting tomorrow, I'm expecting our rescue operations to go even more smoothly than usual. Now that you're here... I'm expecting it, Russ. Deliver. And that's it. We're so, we are a third of the way to getting the 1500 Sparklium needed to end the demo, and by the time I have it all, honestly, I think the game will be out, which will be a, a great... Uh, a, it'll ease into the LP well. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you tomorrow. Have a great night.